what's your name? I'm Chris. What's your name? Chris. Chris? Okay, yeah. Chris. I noticed you have the, uh, the, unless I read wrong, you have the Make America Great Again. Yeah, I do. I want you to tell me exactly the point in history where America was great. Uh, you know, it's funny. It, it, it point to me a time in history where America wasn't great. Point to, tell me, tell me where the it starts. The birth of America? No, this America, this, point this, in America this, this where America was wasn't built great. On, on murder and thievery and deception. What do you mean? Now, let me explain this to you real quick. This is for, this is for everybody to listen to. Everybody always have this perception that we shouldn't acknowledge America as being great. America started at a certain point and grew and become and came better over time. No country that you know of was 100% perfect at the foundation. No country. You, you no didn't country answer my question. in the world. Afri no countries in Africa, no countries in Europe. You can name it. Everybody started at a certain point and it became greater you, you over didn't time. Answer my question. Ever since you've been alive, America has been the greatest it's ever been. You think so? A hundred percent, brother. You can name somewhere else that's better than America. And why don't you live there? I'm not sure. You they, not, I know you're not sure because they, they don't exist. Were they? Show me somewhere else that's as, as, as diverse as America. Anywhere. As diverse? Pick, that's as diverse. What does diversity mean if, if people are being for discriminated all against? People. Show me another country that give opportunities for all people like America Do you does. think we have the same opportunity as everybody else? As Who, black people? Yeah, 100%. With a 200-year economic head start on us and no What's reparations. What's stopping you now? Aren't you at this university? Yeah. You're at the university just like all these white people. Mm -hmm. How's that any different? Can't you? I want you, you can, to go two no, blocks no, no, that no, no, way no. and tell Forget me where that. they at. You can read. You can go to class. Mm -hmm. You can make good grades. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping that you make your straight A's. Mm -hmm. how, is, how is America stopping you from doing that? And well, how is it stopping, stopping you from being prosperous enough to go down the street and make a difference in your own community? How, how is America stopping you from doing Why that? Why is it my responsibility to, to make a difference in my community that was sabotaged from the start? I don't think, I don't, let, let's go back to the. Why is it my responsibility to make a difference to my, for my neighborhood when it was, what do you say, when it was terrible from the start or something like that, bro? What? I'm, wait, I'm stuck on why you just, it's, why is it my responsibility that, hold on, bro. No, nah, I gotta go go back a little bit, bro. That's that's a crazy statement to make, fam. And bro, how is it stopping, stopping you from being prosperous enough to go down the street and make a difference in your own community? How how is America stopping you from doing? Why that? is it my responsibility to, to make a difference in my community that was sabotaged from the start? I don't think. I don't, let, let's go back to the. Foundation. Do you think the CIA planted uh, drugs in our communities? They didn't make you sell it. Do you think they? Uh, no, no, no. I agree. They. I, do you I've think heard, they burned I've read down stories of how black the CIA, businesses? Do you know what me, Black me, Hollywood let's go, is? Let's go one at a time. I've heard stories that the CIA planted drugs in the inner city communities. Not every black community, but in some. They still don't make you go and sell drugs to your brother. Do they? Why are right. you not selling drugs right now? Because it doesn't make sense for you to do that. You have an opportunity to go to a university, get an education and make yourself better and make your family better in the next few generations. Uh -huh. Nobody's stopping us from doing that. I'm sitting on campus right you know, now and you know all these people stop, are listening to me. You know what's stopping, what's stopping me? Money. It, I, well, in America, uh, 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 in America, uh, 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 what's stopping you from making money in America? What the f is not stopping us from making money. You what go the to the same university as all these white people. What, how you got a, di a different? Exactly. You said what? Excuse me? We're still in debt. We We're in debt. That's, what, that's, that's, that's our, our fault. fault. <laughs> that's what I was saying. <laughs> Bro, you being in debt, I think Charlie Kirk always mentioned this. He always say how uh, college is a scam. Now, personally, I didn't go to college. I, I had a free ride to go to college, but I chose not to go to college. It just wasn't for me. I just felt like it was pointless, especially with what I want to do with my life. I felt like college was pointless. But to to say that y'all are in debt and make it seem as if it's someone else's fault, y'all are in debt because of y'all. Y'all chose to go to college and get yourself in debt. Y'all chose to take out those loans and things like that. Like, Y'all chose that. That was your personal decision. That has nothing to do with the, the university itself. That has nothing to do with your, your, your peers. That has nothing to do with anybody else but you. You made that decision and say, you know what, I'm going to go to college. Now, some, some people, they don't make that decision. Some people, parents make that decision for them. You know what I'm saying? I hope that their parents is actually paying that debt for them since they're making or forcing their kids to go to college. But that's nobody's fault but yours. You feel me? That's nobody's fault but yours. You cannot sit here and say, y'all in debt and money is stopping y'all from doing this and doing that, bro. Nothing is stopping you from making money in America. It's 
thousands of jobs out here that you can go get a it could be the simplest job bro you can work at bird king bro i worked at bird king for three years of my life you can work at bird king get paid however much they paying out but you could do it's so many different jobs bro amazon you know what i'm saying like it's so many different jobs that you could do in america and make that money and to support your family you know what i'm saying it may not be the best of the best especially if you just work in a, a typical regular job with no degree or no type of experience then it may not be the best but you can make enough to to be able to you know what i'm saying get you a nice apartment or a decent an apartment and make sure you have food in the house and things like that you can make enough for that lifestyle but if you're trying to get somewhere you feel me top dog i say you know you probably have to have some experience in a little bit different areas pick up a trade you know what i'm saying do things like that but come on bro it's nobody fault but yours fam that's <laughs> this is uh, this is crazy pull yourself up by your bootstraps right okay i went to i went well, I we went, were never given boots went, to begin let, with let's start with this i actually went and graduated from a university so I'm not a guy that didn't go to college. I, I had a full scholarship, so I didn't pay for school in my undergrad. Graduate school, I paid for out of my pocket. I did not get a loan. I mean, I did not have to get loan forgiveness or nothing like that. I had $11,000 worth of debt, and I paid it. How is that different than anybody else out here? Because everybody doesn't have the same that, opportunity. I'm black, though. Why did, how did I pay my loan off and you can't? Or Where are you from? Wait, I'm from Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, Dunbar High School. Fort Worth, Right Texas. in the hood and stop six. It, right in the hood and stop six. How did I get to this point if America's against me? Did everybody in your neighborhood get to that point? Well, different choices. There's a lot of people in well, my neighborhood that made it out that. because they made better choices. I could have sold drugs. I didn't. Why? Because I wanted something better out of my life. What do you say about the disproportionate wealth? Is, is that, okay. Does that not matter? It, it's about culture. How much money do you save? I don't know. I'm in debt, bro. You're in debt. How much do you invest? I don't know. How did you get into debt? Who chose to come here? Me. Well, that's, you, you, you <laughs> laid it out. Now, when you come here, for every college student here, this should be an investment into your future. All right. Anybody that know anything about making money knows that you have to invest to get to the next step. You may, to listen, know you may be in debt. Money. You may be in debt to make an investment to get to the next step. So if you do this properly, this is a dead investment to make more money in the future. If you come here and clown around and take a major that won't put you anywhere, then you just got into debt for no doggone reason. It's a cultural thing. Black people in America don't have wealth like others because they choose not to, to generate wealth through investments and passing their money down. Who's teaching us to do this? We should teach each other to do it. Why does somebody got to teach? You want the white man to teach us? Is that what you're saying? I mean, hell, teach us something. Okay, no, you could what? teach. You could teach something. You got a college. You could get into college education. When you have children, so, teach so, your so children. So basically, help yourselves. We know we we know you have this 200 year head start. That we know doesn't we've matter, bro. You don't you have from, nothing hey, to do with. You don't have. Bro, bro, your past don't matter. The the past and the history of black people don't matter, bro. I'm not saying I'm not saying push it aside. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, yes, history matters. Let me, I gotta fix my words. You know, I don't want nobody to try to take my words out of context. History matters. You know what I'm saying? I believe that the history of America matters. I believe that the history of black people matter. It it matters totally. You feel me? We should learn of our history, but however, we can't stop that from moving us forward. Look, you talking about uh, uh, well, also Tato mentioned like, you know, creating wealth or creating generational wealth for your kids. And we didn't have that growing up. You know, a lot of our parents didn't pass down that wealth. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of rich white people, but then you see what their parents did and how their parents worked to pass on that generational wealth. Now, it's not like I, I don't know a lot of white people like that, but a decent amount of white people that I have like seen on the internet or anything like that, that's what they say. They pass down the generational wealth that they created growing up and they pass it on to their kids. Right now, I have a kid on the way. And what are what are me and my wife doing? We're saving for our kid. So that way, when they do choose to whatever path they choose to go towards, when they turn 18, 19, whatever, they will have a decent amount of money already saved from us just locking in and saving for them right now you know what i'm saying this is just their funds we're not touching this we have our own money they're going to have their own money and by the time they turn 18 19 then they can touch that money and choose to say hey i want to go to college now they got their college funds so hey i want to go ahead and get a house and get a job whatever they want to do that's their money they can do it now of course i'm gonna teach them responsibility on how to invest their money and to do these different things but i'm already starting my kids off well because that didn't happen for me growing up so now i can because of all the information i I learned growing up, now I can use that information to invest into my kids. 
I mean, you have. I mean, you have to do what you got to do, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you learn so much, college should be teaching you some of this stuff. If you have learned some certain stuff in your life, you should go ahead and and apply that and teach it to your kids, or just apply it to your kids and say, you know what? I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna invest this and just apply it to your kids. That's all you got to do, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, come on now. You got to like. I was like, you got to teach yourself sometimes, brother. You talking about the white man? Like, come on, man. Like, we have the information. It's right on Google, bro. Just look it up. How to invest. What to invest into. Like, it's right on Google, bro. Watch YouTube. YouTube is free, bro. They didn't have this back in my parents' days. This is free. Like, you could just look stuff up, bro, and you could find all the information you need and apply the information. But they say, you know, the biggest, the 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 most. It's not. I won't say. I won't say it's the most quoted saying, but it's a saying that say, if you want to keep something from a Negro, put it in a book. This is why we can't learn certain stuff because we don't pick up a book and actually read the information that's in the book. Pick up a book and read it. Read the information and apply the information. You don't need nobody else to teach you. You don't need to go to college. You you got everything on YouTube. You got everything on Google. Just pick up the information that you have got that you have that you have, and just apply it. That's all you got to do, bro. Jeez, bro. Got College me. education. When you have children, so, so, teach your so children. So basically, help yourselves. We know we we know you have this two hundred year head start. That we know doesn't matter, bro. You don't you have from, nothing hey, to do with. Hey, you hey, don't hey. have nothing to do with that. Oh. You don't have nothing to do with that. I thought you said one at a time. You don't have nothing to do with that. I don't do have you? nothing to do with what? The two hundred years that you're talking about. Yes, I do. Have you ever heard of generational trauma, generational wealth? You my have people gener don't own anything. Where my you come, where you come from? Where you come from? How can you build something when my people come from nothing? I come from South Memphis. And I come from Stop Six. Congratulations. Congratulations. I went to the university. What does comparison university. mean? It what means does that comparison we, mean just when real the statistics quick. say that we are behind? We are not behind. Some people are behind. We're not behind. Why? Because we make positive decisions. He not behind. He not behind. She not behind. Do I want to go point You're out on a of college black campus? College You're on a college it depend, campus. It depends on what you do with, with what you have presented to you. You born in wherever you were born at. Look at you now. What's the difference between you and other people that didn't choose? Opportunity. How, how did you get an opportunity that other people didn't? You're in debt, so you didn't have the money. Opportunity. You didn't have the money to pay my, for it. My parents didn't have much, but they had yeah. enough to keep me out the hood trying to make some money any way I can. I know yeah. people who okay. have no anything they have to go out there they, they have no other choice they have a horrible education do you know what the education system is like here it's horrible okay so let's explain it like this i want to i want to make sure we talk it on the same at the same level All right so in america every single person has an opportunity to do something with what they have in their hand and we have I'm, nothing in our look, hands look, let That's me say the this. point let me say this let me say this i believe wholeheartedly that God gives you a hand of cards to play. Hear me out. God gives you Let, a hand. Hear me out. God gives you a hand of cards to play. Not everybody's hand is the same. What You can have a full deck of great cards and you play them poorly, you won't make it in life. You can have a bad hand, you play them strategically and you play them right, you'll do good in life. You had a not so good hand growing up where you grew up at. You made positive decisions that led you here. That's the hand you get, you've been dealt. Everybody don't have a freaking silver spoon in their mouth. America is but the only we, place. They proportionately. Who do. is they? Everybody else, man. Everybody else, like who? Are you saying white people? Brother, you yes. in you in the same situation as all these white people, and you and Am you play the victim. Am I? How, you at the Am same I? university? Am I? What does the same university have to do with anything? You go to the same I classes. Four point, I had a four point three GPA in high school. I did what I was supposed what to hit. Now? I did what oh I was supposed to do. Gosh. What's your GPA now? Three point six. Brother, what's holding you back then? That's the point. Everybody doesn't have a 3.6. Everybody is Do you not just get a 3.6 because you woke up one day? You studied, didn't you? Right. Bro, you worried about everybody else. That's your problem. That That's what's going to, like, I mean, that, like, yes, we, we are supposed to to love our neighbors if we love ourselves. That That is true. But when you are so worried about the next person and what the next person is doing and what the next person have, you set yourself back. You need to focus on what you have and what you have already been dealt. You're doing good for yourself at the age that you're at. But yet you're worried about what other people are doing, why other black people are this and why it's because of the choices they chose to make. Like, I mean, bro, I'm, I'm well off than a lot of black men in my family, but it's because I chose to make good decisions in my life. I didn't choose to sell drugs. I didn't choose to be on drugs. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I didn't. I chose not to do these things growing up. You know what I'm saying? But 
the people, the black men in my family, they chose to follow these paths. They chose to follow the, the they chose to follow the, the next person. I chose to be different. I'm the one that got married at a young age. I'm the one that started a family at a young age the right way. You know what I'm saying? I chose not to have the kid out of wedlock. Because that, that goes around in my family. A lot of people have kids out of wedlock and then they end up having baby daddies. On. I chose to have a wife. I chose to have a kid inside of marriage, inside the covenant that God created. I mean, inside the covenant that God wanted it to be done in. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I can't worry about what, what my family don't have, what they don't. I can't worry about them. I'm only, I can only worry about myself and what I have chose to do with my life. The more I worry about them, the more I'm going to just saying bro you gotta like you can't worry about what everybody else has bro like man anyway brother what's holding you back then that's the point everybody doesn't have a 3.6 everybody is do not you just get a 3.6 because you woke up one day you studied didn't you right no what? i actually didn't you didn't study no. so then you have a gift that you can go and make a three point something and don't even study right brother i mean i don't know i think we're wasting our time talking to each other the, the bottom line is that if you study you work hard, you play the cards that you're dealt properly, you will be successful. This country makes more millionaires than anywhere in the world. You can talk, Oprah Winfrey came from nothing. Uh, 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 Tyler Perry came from nothing. I mean, you go down a list. You go down a list, brother. Why are you naming rich black people? I, because these are the Why people. Why are you naming well, what rich about me? black people? All right, me. You talking about, about me, me and you, I'm talking about everybody in the surrounding everybody outside of this bubble listen man you you you're you're a product of your decision making you are an example that you can come from nothing and come a to the university of your decision making when the majority you, you of came from are nothing and you're at the university what are we saying you came from nothing you're at the university well, how about you go and teach other young men like you that grew up where you grew up how to do what you did to get here period what's the problem in that well come to the mic please can you come to the mic he want me off the mic. Come, no, no, you, it doesn't matter about recording. Can you come to the mic so we can hear your question? Please. Come on. Come on, we, we no, can double it's, team it's the so mic. so we can get the audio in. We can double team the come mic. We can double team the mic. Just, well, just ask okay. the question and I'll try to answer your question. Hold on one second. What's your question? How does everyone have an opportunity when systematically the U.S. has multiple inequities within? What inequities? Can you explain one? Wait, wait, wait. inequities in education. What, what does that mean? Are you, do you consider yourself a minority? Is the country against you? But it's not. You're here. You t you did what you're supposed to do to get here. You. That's what it's about. Individuality. You. If you do what you need to do, you'll be here. You, as in everybody on this campus. Listen. Some people grow up in a in a terrible environment. Can we agree? Some people in that terrible environment make positive decisions to get out of that environment. Some people it takes longer. Some, it like takes longer in like, life to do that. Like and that's not a black thing. It's a everybody thing. There's poor white people in this country too. Do you not forget that? Most people on food stamps are white. Most people incarcerated are white. Most people in the country are white. Most people get killed by police are white. Most most everybody in this country is white. What so is what, 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 saying, that what does what that I'm statistic is, have to do with anything? That if poverty was just was just relocated to black people, it would only be black you people. You talking on a script? I can't. Listen. All right, come on. Next person. Man, it look. I say it's two things with this. Number one, I see how he has a heart for the for his for his people. You know what I'm saying? I see that he has a true heart. I mean, I don't know if that was his actual voice or was he getting really emotional, but I see that he has a heart for, you know, the, the black community or just well, I say the black community. It seems like he has a heart for the black community, but this is the problem is that we have to get out of this victim mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like this victim mentality is what's holding us back for real. We continue to worry about our past and we continue to worry about what the next person has and what the next person like. We can't worry about them. You know what I'm saying? Life is about what you do. You feel me? It's about what you do, bro. I came, I'm from Chicago, fam. You know what I'm saying? I still live in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the west side of Chicago, uh, raised and raised on the south side of Chicago. So I'm from two hoods, you know what I'm saying? Two different hoods. But the problem is that I didn't allow myself to become a product of my environment. And remind you, I didn't allow, I didn't allow, you know what I'm saying? Like my mom did the best she could. She was a single mother too. 
for about eight years of my life. She was a single mother. So therefore she did everything she possibly could to make sure that I had what I had, that I, that I went to school and all these different things. Now, granted, I started to act up in school and everything. Like I started to, I started to try to be around the kid, like be like the kids that I was around. But my mom, she, she didn't play those type of games. You know what I'm saying? She made sure she kept me in check. And I can say that by her raising me the way she did, it caused me to want She taught me or she wanted me to be a better man. She didn't want me to be like the man in my family. So she wanted me to be something better. And that's what I am today. I'm way better than most men in my family. That's not to sound cocky, but I can't. I can't allow myself to worry about what they have and what they and what they don't have and all these different things. I don't think that America is against me whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? I have the opportunity to do a lot of things in America and not be held back. You feel me? You got a lot of rich black people that came from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Steve Harvey lived in his car. <laughs> he lived in his car, bro. He was homeless. And now look at him. But it's about he didn't sit there and where how oh, man America America just hate us black people just hate us. he didn't sit there and whimper about what like what America is doing what America was doing or he didn't he didn't sit there and worry about the next he got on his feet and he did what he knew that God placed on his heart to do and now look at him you know what I'm saying a billionaire or maybe a millionaire I don't know which one he is but he wanted it too just know that he is rich you feel me and he came from nothing so therefore you have black people that came from nothing and now they're something and you have came from nothing and you in the university. I came from nothing. Well, I didn't, I, yeah, I came from a hood. You know what I'm saying? Now, my mother didn't show the struggle, but we definitely were struggling, but she didn't show the struggle. So I didn't know we were struggling until we got older. But at the end of the day, I came from nothing and now I am something. I'm married. I'm 21. I have a kid on the way. All these different things. I love Jesus. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a believer in Christ. Like all these different things, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I chose to, to, to create this, to create this path for my life. I chose this way. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't forced into this. I wasn't forced to do this. I wasn't forced. I chose to, to be better in my life. You know what I'm saying? I didn't choose to be a product of my environment, choose to be a product of my family. I chose to break generational curses and do something different now my little sister got something to look up to now my little cousins and my older cousins they can look up to me not to sound cocky but that's what they do because they see that i'm doing well all i'm doing better than most people in my family so i gave my little cousins and my older cousins something to look up to to see this is what a real man supposed to do this is how a real man provides the family this is how a real man does this and how a real man does that you know what i'm saying at the end of the day i chose i made decisions for my life and that's just what we have to do i mean you cannot worry about the next person but man shout out to officer tatum because hopefully the, the guy wasn't really listening he still had that victim mentality you know what i'm saying bro felt like he was right uh reading off a script but in reality i was saying just giving his honest opinion like look bro this is what it is and this is what it ain't but you know most people don't want to hear that because obviously they still stuck in that mentality you know what i'm saying so without further ado man i hope you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications it's been your boy depend i love y'all god bless stay blessed peace